Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we are continuing our journey through Floodlands and last time we managed to repair one of these great power relays. Now there's more to be done, we need to repair the old transformer as well, plus a few other things here and there. At this moment I want a high priority on this one and we'll research some of the old relics. I will want a... Actually, let's upgrade this to a institute. And then I want people in into the academic debate. I do have a bug right now, but I've managed to somehow work around it, meaning that I can't save the game anymore. I've seen that it's somewhere in the forums as well, it's being investigated. There are a few things that are being investigated and hopefully they will be fixed in the near future. I might have to wait for a few more updates before we do another let's play of this game, but we will see. Either way, even this issue, I, I guess the, my biggest problem with the game right now is the fact that these factions just break apart and fuse together just a tiny bit too much, too quickly, giving some of the experience or trying to make yourself a specialized team fairly useful, useless when they just spread apart and then they fuse together and somehow your factions disappear. So. I am hoping that this is for me my biggest issue right now, besides the technical ones. The technical ones, I am patient enough, annoyingly patient I would say sometimes, because I've played with really bad computers, some games with a lot of lag, just because I wanted to see uh, how the game was when I was young. And uh, this type of issue, the type of technical issues do not matter. However, the gameplay issues I do have more expectations for and I'm guessing that plenty of you do too. So I can work through that by just quick saving and loading the, the game again, but we'll see. Either way, it is okay, it is what it is, we're just going to go through this. Let's see, where was that building? So this one has some of the resources that we want. There's a bunch of stuff in these ones as well. Yeah, I feel like I should be bringing my camp around here to, to look for some scrap. And we'll do that. We'll take this expedition, we'll bring it over here. expedition is coming around let's see what do we want them to do definitely search this area I could even have them collect some of these wastes here right maybe even further do that how full are we is there a way Maybe somewhere in the exploration that we could make this boat bigger. It doesn't seem like that is the case. Okay. We have 88 research points, we need 200 for this relay. Our concrete production is okay for the moment. Okay, you are full, so we could ask you to go back home, please and thank you. I will cancel this. And we'll send you out again in the near future. We have three people trying to collect rubbish, but we don't need the people to be there. This automation is not perfect. It's apparent that you have to give people orders in order to get what you want. <laughs> okay, I'll bring uh, another ship here. Apparently there are a few ships underwater containing treasure for us. 
there some TNT here. Twenty-five. Yeah, in one day we'll be getting enough concrete one for another upgrade. Let's look here and let's also look on this side. Good, we've gained 30 concrete, which means that we could go here and repair another one of our relays. What next? We'll take you home again. There's more research up here. I'm gonna try to come and check out this area. These storages might be valuable. So with you, prepare a new expedition. Please bring yourself over here. Now I am curious about something, because there is a way we saw in the research where we can give power to certain buildings. I wonder that if once we are recreating the power station, if it's going to be usable. Or what will be the end goal here? There's a bunch of rubble in here. We are missing rubble at this point. Okay. Well, let's have you research, or not research, but explore the area. Tell me what's around. Currently, not that much in this section. Okay. So, except for a few ships, which have their own value, of course. The value is mostly research. We don't really have a whole lot. Let's relocate our camp over here. What would we need for this? Termite. Okay. Now, I would like you to leave these behind and pick everything else. On this side, I would like you to do the same. This should be enough for now. There's more stuff that we could unlock. Get more lockpicks, get more old world relics, but I feel like this is enough for now. Do I want to get this old world relic as well? I think I will. So we'll search with the ropes. We'll ask them to pick up these goods. Good. Now we can go back home. We'll have 650 rubble. I'm just gonna wait here for a second. Hopefully nothing crashes. Yeah, okay, it works. So they'll be going home now. And we'll continue our construction work. I guess we need more. I have to think about the current situation. I'm guessing there will be needing a lot more concrete. We can collect some of these materials from this area. Try to do some cleanup. Okay, you are done, you are done. You're still producing metal. New expedition, let's see. Where do we want to go next? There's more rubble here, but seems like I've got most of what I've wanted. Cranes. A water tower, which is unexplored. 
this rundown factory hmm. feel like I should just bring myself on this site haven't explored a whole lot let me just do a quick save It is good that I saved, apparently I have encountered a game-breaking bug, basically getting our search team stuck. They're going into a building, they're trying to scout for some goods and stuff and then they become stuck. Now, I will try to search a different area than what I have so far, which is this one right here. Hopefully this will work in a way. I'm really hoping for the future of this campaign. If not, I'm just gonna try to push this campaign as far as I can. Then maybe wait for a patch. Who knows? It's, it is a bit unfortunate. I mean, this type of game breaking bugs can be disappointing to say the least. Right? So we have enough here to research this, but you know what I'll be doing? Because we're wasting resources, I am going to pick the cement first. Actually, we'll go for the cement factory. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We only have one cement building maker. Where is it? Uh, it was around here somewhere. This is plastic. Let's see, building, roof, cement factory, where do we have it? It's not, uh, if I go to a level one, does it show us where it was? Yeah, here it is. So it's in the water here. We're gonna go to the next level. Then we need some steel before we can go to the even uh, one more level high on this one. Okay, so we're gonna ga gather some steel. Let's see, Pathfinder camp has arrived to their destination, which is here. Okay, I want you to take a look in this area. And unfortunately the bug happened again. So you can see that they are stuck here. They are stuck on getting resources. And if I try to relocate the camp, then it's going to get stuck in relocating because they're waiting for a person to come back from this place. Let's see if I can search some of the areas at least. I don't know, maybe we'll sacrifice that party and see how it goes for us. But it is disappointing. Let's see. Are you going to search this factory? Nope. The people are stuck here. If I ask you to go back home, will you please go back home? Is that doable? Nope. Okay. Well, that is very unfortunate. Because there's a limit on all the resources. We're gonna go with cement factory here in a second. And at that level I am hoping that we'll be able to get enough cement to get things going. We have a few more things that we could collect here so I could make more metal. That is not a problem. Yeah, even here. Look at that. I think I have on every island a possibility to at least do something along these lines. You have really cleared out the area, let's stop working you there. Mm, more rubbish, which I don't really need for right now. With you, I'll be searching this area. Okay. 
idea. We're using a lot of our resources, but we are getting a lot of concrete in return as well, and that is awesome for us. And we need to be producing a lot more steel as well. So with the research points that we have... Growth? Let's see... Charcoal oven for more coal. That is important as well because we don't have any steelworks. Steelworks makes everything more efficient. You know what, let's go with steelworks for now. And I guess I get this charcoal oven as well. But we'll do them in order. We'll take this right here. Mm. Small meal. This is the charcoal oven, okay, for which we need steel. getting a lot of lag all of a sudden. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what exactly is going on with this game at this moment. It's a bit weird. upgrade to the next level we'll need more coal so priority will be coal here so let's go to charcoal oven just so we have that high production with you I will ask you to go into academic debate Five buildings aren't operational. Okay. This Pathfinder camp has no more food and no more way to go forward. I feel... I feel it's a bit unfortunate. But we might just have to put a cut in, in this episode or at this moment in this campaign and come back to it in about I don't know maybe a month's time I'm not sure if a month's time is the right time for it as soon as we get a patch let's see I am making a lot of charcoal right so I'll be repairing these two but as long as this one is stuck here... I don't think that we'll be able to go forward in any way. So... I am just gonna stop it now. There's no point in going forward. I fear that if I go forward right now, it's going to mean that I am losing my chance to find a good safe point you know so what i'll be doing is that i'll stop the series right now and we're going to come back as soon as there are a bunch of patches that will fix this problem i'll be reading the notes whenever they appear and we'll return then i am sorry to disappoint but what can we do <laughs> it's it's how things go so I hope to see you guys uh, in the next series or, you know, when we come back to continuing with Floodlands. If you did like what you've seen, the way that I've evolved and everything that I've done here, to my style and everything, do consider subscribing to the channel in order to keep in touch with what I do. I thank you very much for watching and I thank you very much for the support so far and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.